Hello, I'll be doing a lesson on antibody. Antibodies are self-producing. They are produced by the body. Antibodies, there are five major classes of antibodies. IgG, IgM, IgE, IgA and IgD. IgG will be my main focus. IgG is produced by the secondary immune response. The immune response is how the body responds to anything that occurs within the body. It is a monomer. IgG is the major opsonizing immunoglobin and is the only one that can cross the placenta. Here we have a structure of IgG. IgG is made up of a light chain and a heavy chain. A chain is made up with domains that are held together by disulfide bonds. Here we have a variable region. A variable region is made up of one domain of the heavy chain and one domain of the light chain. We also have the constant region, which is the area below the variable region. We have a FC region. FC region is the body part of the IgG. Here is where perpain acts in the hinge region. Perpain is an enzyme required to form FAB. FAB is both arms apart. F FAB at both arms apart. Perpain acts here and gives us FAB. Pepsin is another enzyme that reacts here to give us both arms together, which are called FAB prime 2. Here is the area where the FC receptors attach it. I'll be talking about FC receptor later. Antigen binds here at the top of the antibody. Subclasses of IgG. There are four subclasses of IgG. IgG1, 2, 3 and 4. IgG1, IgG2, IgG3 can activate complex. IgG1, IgG3 bind to FC receptor of monocytes. All subclasses can bind to FC receptor of neutrophils and they all can cross the placenta. FC receptors are called fragment crystallizable receptors. They are receptors found on the FC portion of the immunoglobin. And in IgG, we find an FC gamma receptor. Receptors interact with antigen presenting cells that can be neutrophils, dendritic cells, monocytes, and phagocytes. They carry out specific function in the immune system. They fight against antigens. Antigens are non self, they induce production of an antibody. The end. Thank you.